going back to Neville, what does Neville tell us? Neville tells us that manifestation is a three-part process. Part one, intend. We've got to know what we want. We should probably be somewhat specific, although not so specific, that we limit what spirit is able to do for us. But we have to have an intention. We have to be able to put in an actual order. Number two, Neville tells us that we have to have the accompanying feeling. That's why that book, Feeling is the Secret, is so powerful. If what I want to manifest for myself is a new opportunity professionally, maybe I want to be a public speaker on a big stage, I can put in the order and I can say, I am a public speaker speaking in front of thousands of people. But if I don't feel that, if there's not a corresponding vibration or energy, then that phone call is never placed. It's like I'm looking at my phone and I'm saying, call my brother, <laughs> but I haven't opened it and turned it on. I haven't activated the process yet. Feeling is the activation process. If I say to myself, I speak on a stage in front of thousands of people and I can see it, if I can see it, I can visualize myself doing that, and I can also feel that, the power of that, the energy of that, the excitement of that, now I'm cooking with gas. Now the phone, I picked it up, and it's ringing. And who's it ringing? The universe. It's ringing the universe. The universe is the subconscious. The subconscious is that aspect of us that lies just beneath our 3D awareness. Our intention, our order, our thoughts, that's our conscious aspect, the thinker. We conceive of the things that we want through this faculty. The feeling is the transmission. The subconscious is the receiver of the transmission. That is the key. Think it, Feel it, that transmits it, and now the order is placed with the kitchen. All you have to do is wait. You don't have to go back and look. The box has it. The universe has it. The universe has your back. That's how manifestation works. I think some of us tend to get caught up with things like lists, manifestation lists. We think we want to have a new relationship, and we'll list every single thing about the person, that, every quality, every trait that we want them to have, right down to eye color <laughs> or job, where they live and things like that, which I think is okay as long as there's some ease around it. Also, I think a lot of us don't think about or subscribe to the higher principle of thy will be done. Thy will be done. Does anybody know the story behind the phrase, thy will be done. I do, and I'll share it with you. <laughs> the story around thy will be done comes from Jesus. And Jesus, the night before he was to be crucified, he knew what was going to happen. Heads up, Jesus was a psychic medium, and that's in the scripture. It's not stated that way. He demonstrated Jesus was a psychic medium. He knew what was going to happen the very next day. And so he was in a garden called Gethsemane. And he'd asked two of his friends, his disciples, to come with him and just be with him. Not to do anything for him necessarily, but just to sit with him. Can you just hang out with me? I'm scared. And as people do sometimes, those two disciples let him down. They fell asleep. And Jesus found himself alone. And in that aloneness, he cried out to Source. He cried out to Creator and he said, if there's any way that this cannot happen tomorrow, if, if, if it's at all possible, I would like to request that. Father, let this cup pass from me. He asked God, please, I don't want this to happen. But he ended that prayer with, thy will be done, which means even though I really want this, you know what's best in this situation. You know what this situation requires. And I might not be able to see it all. I might think I have the right idea because I'd like to get out of Dodge right now. 
but you have the higher perspective. Now, irrespective of whether you believe in Jesus and the Bible and all of that, it's a really good metaphor for how we should treat manifestation. I really want to find my soulmate in 2019, but thy will be done. Because maybe source knows, and maybe your emissaries know that this is not the year for that for you. Rather, you need to be focusing on your abilities and your gifts, or you need to be focusing on your studies, or you need to be focusing on this awesome new project or opportunity that Spirit has planned for you, through which, in 2020, you will meet your Mr. or Mrs. Wright. Spirit has the higher vantage point. We always ask for what we want. And we can be specific, but try not to be too specific. And always come to the interaction. Make the request. Make your order with the surrender necessary to also include thy will be done. You are the intelligent designer of your life. God said, let us make humans in our image. God didn't say, let us make humans in my image. God said, let us make humans in our image. Who's our? Our is source. Our is archangelic. And our is I am. And that's where it gets interesting because that's who you are. You are I am. You are not Crystal and Compton in 3D reality. You are I am. Unnameable indescribable soul made in the image of the creator who decided to create you and did so in perfect love. You and that creator and the archangelic decided to bring 3D Crystal Ann Compton into third dimensional reality. We often wonder why, <laughs> why would you do that to me? But there's a reason, because we came here to do something powerful. And yet, we were made in our creator's image. And what do creators do? They create. They manifest. They have an intention. They have the energy or the vibration, which is the desire, the feeling, and then they create. That's who you are. That's the power that you have. The most magical, immediate manifestors are those who know that they are divine. They're the fearless ones. They're the ones who have the audacity to align to the map, to align back to the highest version of what they came here to do, even though it goes against what the parents told you you should do, what the husband says you should be doing, what your children think you ought to be doing, what the world says you should be doing. It's the brave ones who follow the call of the soul. And by the way, anytime we do that, the path, well, <laughs> our momentum down the path accelerates. It amplifies. We go faster and faster and faster. Doors start swinging open. We meet all the people that we need to meet. When we're aligned in this way, because we've said, thy will be done. I just want to do it in conjunction with you, God. That's when everything starts to happen at a very, very high rate of speed. Manifestation isn't just possible. You're manifesting right now. Your thoughts, your feelings are manifesting your tomorrows right now. Why not manifest something really great for yourself? Why not intelligently design for yourself something that you would truly love to have, to be, or to do? It's not just possible. It's your damn birthright. Can I get an amen? Okay. Can I get an amen? Yes. Amen.